I know what you feel. I know what you have in your mind. I know that you would like to really make your dreams come true in the field of data science. But then the problem is that there are a lot of information coming in in your mind and you don't know which one to prioritize, which one to really um, deal with. So it's a question of first comes first. But then you don't know which is number one, you don't know which is number two, and you don't know which is number three. Uh, I have been there and I know exactly how that uh, feel because that's how I started. Um, way back three years ago when I was starting my data science career, it was actually a very big challenge it's because no one really mentored me, no one was around, no one was, was there to tell me how I would do this kind of stuff step by step. Um, three years ago, data science was not that mainstream or was not that famous. Only very few people had this kind of idea what this field is. And so um, what I did was I just searched the internet. I googled everything, but then I ended up very much frustrated because everything that I saw on the internet was just... Um, just a piecemeal. It was not actually, uh, uh, shall we say, a, a whole, uh, not really wholesome, but um, a, a package, a package information that would really teach me how to do everything the proper way. It's not the best way, not the right way, but the proper way. Okay. So, okay. Um, what happened during the time was I read everything I could possibly get, I could possibly find on the internet because there was not enough information on hand. And even when I went to the bookstores, I went to small, big bookstores and even those bookstores that sell um, secondhand books. But the problem was I could not find any book that could really satisfy my, my mind and could satisfy my desire how to do and how to do data, data science and what steps do I have to follow. Okay, so I've been there. I know what your problem is. I know what you are thinking. Your mind is full. Your heart has this very big desire that one day you would be like this, that one day you would be the person that you would like to dream of, right? So the Google does not tell us everything step by step. But of course, there are a lot of people out there who would tell you that this one and this one and this and this and this. But then the problem is that when you are alone and when you talk to yourself, you don't know what's going to do. It's because a lot of informations are really piled up in your mind and even in your heart. And the heavier it becomes in your mind, the, the, the heavier also it becomes in your heart. And that's really a very big problem because at the end of the day, what will happen is that you will end up nothing. And when I say nothing, it means that you have stacked up, you have experienced nothing because you are very much overwhelmed by a lot of inf information that you read on the internet. Lots of data scientists or um, data science enthusiasts, machine learning enthusiasts or enthusiasts will tell you about this, about this step and about this step. But mind you, what I want to tell you is that you have to take everything piece by piece. You don't have to eat everything whole. What I mean, what I mean is that you should not um, devour everything okay because at the end of the day when you do that you will learn nothing okay again let me repeat this at the end of the day you will learn nothing because when it's really very big your mind cannot digest properly and your your heart cannot put everything very well your heart cannot cannot uh cannot take it seriously 
Okay, do you know what I mean? Okay, so the best thing that you're going to do is that you are going to do it piece by piece. What would be the first step for today? What would be the kind of information you're going to read for today? What would be the kind of information you're going to read tomorrow? But of course, it always depends on where you are now in your journey. You cannot just compare yourself with other people and then you're just going to borrow from him all the stuff that he has when you are a beginner. Of course, you cannot do that. Never compare your first day with someone else's 1,000th day in data science. See the difference? When this guy who has 1,000 day experience in data science and for example, he is reading this book, he has this information already and he's been doing this kind of project and when you are a beginner, you don't have that much information about data science, of course, you cannot do what he's doing. And the best thing that you're going to do is that you have to go back to the basic, okay? So when I say the basic, you have to go back to the foundation of how you're going to learn data science the best way possible that you, in your the present status, would be able to really understand what data science is in the best way possible. But because again, you are just a beginner, okay? So if you are... Um, right after the beginner stage, then it would be the time for you to be able to have uh, more advanced information to study on. Okay, so again, it must be a step-by-step -step process. Don't take everything as a whole, okay, because when you think big, you cannot learn from it meaningfully okay so i know that you are having a very big problem dealing with your situations right now okay what you have in your mind right now is that you would like to be the person like this you want to be like this and you want to do a certain project you want to have like this because at the end of the day what matters most is your pride that you've done something like this as your data science project but then the problem is that you cannot just move forward it's because there is that space in your heart there is that space in your skill that is not yet filled so when this particular space is not filled the tendency is that you cannot do a certain project very much well so your journey is you are jumping from one place to another without connecting any dots okay the most important thing that you have to learn is that in the field of data science is especially when you are learning just learning is that you should be able to connect the different dots there are dots that you're going to learn say for example you must connect the mathematics in the programming side okay there are a lot of people who know programming very much well who are expert in in programming but then they could not connect the mathematical part with the math, uh, the the programming side and that that is the problem if you don't know the mathematics behind the data science and you will just jump into the programming or using the programming to manipulate the data then there would be some kind of problem when you are faced with um, understanding the different outcomes or results which are usually in numbers see can you see that okay so say for example when um, you're asked to make predictions for example and you are given a certain number and you don't know what's really going on behind these numbers so when you are given RMSE, for example, when you have these loss functions, then what are you going to do, right? So that's going to be a very big problem if you just jump into a certain stage without first mastering or at least having the, the substantial background or expertise of a certain part of data science, okay? So 
That is why I always tell you that you have to always think where you are now in your in your journey. Okay? So it's not going to be a one day affair that in a day you're going to learn everything, but it's going to be a process. It takes years, but others could could have a month for them to at least have that uh, a substantial understanding, substantial skills to proceed to having um, a, a bigger project in data science. But then for others who are just beginning, it's going to be tedious. It's going to be hard. Okay, but the good thing is that no matter how hard it is, you can still do it. Okay, because when you have that determination, when you have that that drive in yourself that you're going to do this, of course you can. Okay? So the best thing that you're going to do first is that you have to know yourself. Okay? This is the best thing. Know your background, know your experiences, know you, where you are right now in your journey. The second thing that, that you have to do is that you're going to do peace by piece so when you have already identified the piece by piece thing the next thing that you're going to do is that you're going to connect the dots and in the connection of these dots is that you have to understand how this particular field in data science is related to this particular field or which one should be the prerequisite of another because understanding which one is really the prerequisite you will be able to understand how you're going to go forward and go forward and then move forward and then do that and then uh, get that thing that you've been wanting to have and then um, of course do not forget to ask other people especially those who have already experienced doing some kind of data science projects you are not living alone okay and no one should not or no one should be able to monopolize the knowledge and because no one can monopoly the knowledge you have to ask 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 and you will be answered the good thing about people who are always asking and asking is that they have the capability to improve why Maybe you would like to ask me why do they have the capability to improve? It's because they accept what is lacking in themselves and they are open to suggestions. They're open to opinions. They're open to growth. And once you ask other people who have already experienced something which is related to what you want or which is also what you want, then you can save time. You can save your money. Just imagine a person who have already experienced 10 years doing data science projects or a person who has already read 10 books then these persons would tell you the best information the best experience that he or she has then you have already learned one day instead of two years instead of three years so see just imagine it's just just uh it, it's just uh being wise just being wise in dealing with your journey in data science you don't have to be just alone you, you don't have just to be in your room and doing your thing without asking other people who have been doing certain projects for a very long time because if you if that's going to be the way then that is really dangerous because dangerous it's because uh you are locked in a room and when you are locked in a room it's it's uh it's it's a kind of thing that makes you so removed from the rest of the world and you would be able to not experience the certain experience which is actually talking to um, people who have already experienced the science projects so and then of course do not settle for less and when i say do not settle for less is do not just be contented that you've learned something like this 
Okay, for example, this is what you've learned. And this is the kind of information that other people have told you. Okay, so the world is constantly changing and what we've, we learned today would be a basic thing to learn in the next five years, in the next 10 years. So what I mean is that if you have already experienced um, doing data science projects, never forget to aspire for personal development. Okay, so it has something to do with professional growth. So what you should do is that you're going to read, you're going to attend seminars, you're going to attend workshops. And these things just keep cycling and cycling and cycling. Always be a beginner. 